everybody. So today I wanted to just do an example of filling out the Roller Gobi Desert Sheet for all of you so that um, we can walk through kind of what I was hoping it would look like and just because some of the details in here are a little bit smaller um, as you can see with the animals and the plants. Um, so I just wanted to draw them with you just so you could get a sense of what your own Gobi Desert drawing could look like. Um, also on Class Reach, I will upload all of the photographs I used for inspirations to draw all of the um, landscape features and animals and plants so that you guys can also use that as a reference um, and not just my drawings. Um, yep, so we'll roll our dice six times and we'll make a Gobi Desert. What, so what you'll need for this is you'll need your Gobi Desert Sheet. You'll need a dice, which I have right here. You can get from a board game you have, might have. Um, and what I'm going to do today is I'm first going to draw it in pencil. Um, and then I'm going to go over it with marker. And then you guys could also color it in if you want to make it a little bit more exciting. So let's get started. So first what I want to do is first I am going to roll for my desert. So we see our first roll is the desert right here. Okay, so let's roll. I rolled a one, great. So as much as I can on my paper, I want to make my desert look like number one. So I see that number one has the desert. I'm going to start about halfway of my page so I have room to draw a sun and then all these other things I'm going to draw for all these rolls. So first I'm going to draw, let's see, number one. It has a little bump in the desert and then it has a really big bump that goes across. And this line kind of goes like that too. And then I do these little curvy lines to show that there are the sand dunes in the sand. If you look at some pictures online, that's kind of how they look. Okay, next we're going to roll for the type of sun I'm going to draw on the sky. It can be very sunny there. Okay, so I rolled a four. Oh, sorry, you can see that. I rolled a four. So let's see, number four. And for my sun, it's this sun. So I'm going to put it anywhere in my sky. I'm going to do it up on this side. First, I'm going to draw my circle, and then I'm going to draw some wavy sun rays. Great, so there's my sun. Okay, so next we're going to roll, our third roll is for a landscape feature. Oh, so I got a two. Oh, and it landed right on two. <laughs> so two, I'm gonna look down. Oh, okay, the flaming cliffs. So I'm not sure if you guys actually know that everything on your sheet that's either a landscape feature, an animal, or a plant are things that are actually found in the Gobi Desert. So when you land on something, that is in the Gobi Desert, I could suggest that you maybe get your parent with you and look it up on the computer um, and learn a, bit, a little bit more about it. The Flaming Cliffs, I'll put a picture in there too, are these beautiful, beautiful red cliffs that are in the Gobi Desert. So, because there's some cliffs, I'm gonna kind of draw my landscape feature for this a little bit in the background. Um, so maybe if you get your sandstorm or some cliffs, or the mountains, you can kind of draw it a little bit behind the sand dunes. Um, so I'm gonna put my flaming cliffs just like right in the middle almost of here. Like you could see them really far away. So this doesn't have to be exact either. It's just kind of a funky shape. And then some cracks to show where them the cliffs 
are. So now I have some flaming cliffs in the background. Okay, so next we're gonna roll from our animal. I have number three, so one, two, three. Okay, great. So I got the Jerboa, and that is almost like a little mouse-like creature that I found that lives in the Gobi, and it has these fun, big ears. So I'll give you guys, you'll probably have some in front of you, but a little bit of a close-up. So the Jerboa, so it's just a cute little mouse kind of thing. So because it's a little mouse, I'm actually gonna try to, try to draw it kind of tiny on here, and I'm gonna draw it, I'll draw it kind of near the front though, so you can, so you can see it, so. It's got this little face and these kind of big ears. Another big ear. And then I'm gonna give its little back and the little little belly. And then it has this long tail. Then its little nose. It has these really big eyes, kind of like a mouse. Little whiskers. And then the Jerboas are funny because they have these really long legs that almost looks like they jump on. And then also, I don't know if you guys can see in, in here, but he also has these tiny little, little arms that I drew on. So here we go. That's my little Jerboa in the desert. And then next we'll roll for our plant. So I got a one. This is going to be a bindweed. So I actually learned that in the Gobi Desert that there aren't a lot of things that flower there. And even just finding all these plants was kind of hard to look up because it is a little bit sparse because of the desert. But the bindweed actually has these really beautiful little flowers that, that show up on it, if you can see them. And also the wild onions had fun little flowers too. So these are two flowering plants. So I'm going to draw my bindweed. I'm going to actually draw... Hmm, maybe I'll draw one over here. Or maybe actually, I'll draw one over here. So it's gonna be kind of like this. And then I just did these flowers. And then I did these little spiky little flowering things. And I have another flower over here. My little thing. And then the little middles of the flowers. Okay, so that's my little bindweed. And I'm gonna draw one more thing for my six roll. So the six roll is interesting because I'm letting you guys pick. So you'll roll a number just like normal. So I rolled a one. I rolled a one, and then I can pick any one one of these things. So I can either do a sandstorm or a Central Asian pit viper or another bindweed, because these are the three that are in this category right here. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I might draw a sandstorm in the background. That's kind of cool. So back here, I'm actually just gonna draw my, my big cloud of sand that's coming. And you guys learned about this in your earth in your science book, science books about the sandstorms and the oases and the droughts. So, okay, great. So now here's my all my sketch version, um, and you guys can keep watching at this point if you want. But I'm just going to color all of it in on the lines with a with a black marker, and then I might color in later too. Just remember guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I like using a pencil because then I can always erase if I want to and at home you have lots and lots of time that you can spend on these. Because I know some of the animals and the plants look like they could be kind of hard to draw.
смотрим. Okay, great, so now it's all colored in. It almost looks like a coloring page now. Um, and, or not colored in, sorry, outlined. Um, and so now I'm going to use some colors to color it in. So I might do some blue for the sky and the flaming cliffs are actually a real place and they're really red and do some yellow for the sand and stuff. But you guys got it from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun making your own Gobi Desert. <laughs>